So I have a Jeep Wrangler Sahara JL, however you want to phrase that, and absolutely love it. And absolutely love it but it started making a bunch of like really funky noises I would say maybe four or five months ago about two months ago I brought it to a car dealership if you will a Dodge Jeep whatever dealership and to see what was wrong with it and it turns out that in the rear wheel bearing I don't know how to phrase that rear wheel bearing which is very hard to say they there was metal shavings so they kept my Jeep and said that they had to order an entire new rear rear axle, rear end, rear whatever. I don't know enough about my Jeep to know all the terminology, which kind of sucks. I need to learn a little bit more. But they said they had to order uh, parts in, right? Downside is they had to order all this stuff while it was, everybody was on strike, the, that UAW strike that was going on. So my Jeep has been at the dealership for literally two months almost two months with no update on when the part will come in on when they will work on my Jeep on when I will get my Jeep back anything like that now the plus the plus here is that it was still under warranty okay Buku's of Dodge Challengers tons and tons of Challengers it even goes to the other side over there tons of Challengers but then you've got your Jeeps hiding even though it is lifted it's got a two and a half inch lift to it and even though I put aftermarket wheels and tires on it I've got method racing wheels on it um, it's still considered under warranty because of what the issues are the the differential rear differential it's still considered under warranty which is good so I still have manufacturer warranty but I also got extended warranty because here's the thing uh, cars are expensive to work on and if you have something happen outside of warranty, you don't want to put all that cash into fixing it yourself. Having those extended warranties definitely come in handy. So I have an extended warranty on my Jeep, which if manufacturer warranty had not covered the rear differential, the extended warranty would have, which is really, really good. Because again, that would be an extremely expensive fix to make. But I'm hoping to get my Jeep back soon. They do have me in a loner, a Jeep Gladiator, which is lovely, but it's not my Jeep. I miss my Jeep. I want mine back. But the longer I've been without it, the more I sit there and go, you know, if I can't get it back or they can't get the part in or it's going to take forever and I'm rolling into 2024 without my own vehicle, that's really going to suck. All these car payments I'm making while I can't drive it, the insurance I'm having to pay while I can't drive it, absolutely everything else, especially now that the weather's lovely, it's perfect take the doors off top off all whatever of the Jeep and I can't even drive it because I don't have it because it's sitting around in a parking lot waiting on parts to come in to get fixed but again the UAW strike is over so hopefully that means that parts will be coming in soon and it will get here and they will get it fixed I know that I am not the only person who has been stuck waiting on parts for their vehicle so I can guarantee I'm probably a hundred on the list of getting work done so fingers crossed again that I get my Jeep back in 2023 not 2024 plus I have to renew my tags and it's kind of hard to renew the tags in Florida you're supposed to have the vehicle with you can't renew if I don't have my car and I don't want to be late on my renewal because that's going to be not good I think there's a fee if you're late at least they have them at first I thought they only had these three until I realized once you walk through they're hiding the rest of them over here got a ton of Jeeps just lined up front right on the main fairway if you will the main road so people can see them come by and cop one or two go check mine out while we're still here all I know is there's a lot of Dodge Jeeps um, and Dodge Rams and there's a lot of uh, challengers in this dealership right now they've moved all the Jeep to the front I used to, the, the Jeeps used to be over here 
And so when I pulled up and I didn't see any Jeeps, I was like, oh no, like what happened? Did they hide them to pretend there's a scarcity of Jeeps? No, they've put them all out on the front lot because I think they really want people to buy them right now. There's a lot of like rebates and incentives. Plus it's Florida and you can drive a Jeep in the middle of January because it doesn't get that cold in most parts of Florida. So I think they're trying to push those right now. But we're here to check on my Jeep, see, just make, you know, make friends face to face and just be like, hey, how's it going? Any update on the parts yet? Because I miss my Jeep. 